the first step on our integration is we're going to move the data from an SAP system and we're going to move that into Snowflake. Here I'm in Attunity Replicate. I'm going to create a new task and I'm going to call this SAP to Snowflake. And here it's set for full load and apply changes. So the change data capture is going to be picked up automatically as well. So I've created a new task. Now I simply need to drop my source and my endpoint. So my source here is going to be the SAP ERP application. We've already provided the credentials into that application. And we're going to move the data to Snowflake on AWS. Drag and drop. So here I've created a task, move from SAP to Snowflake. I'm going to select the tables from the SAP source that I want. So I'm going to go to the sales and distribution module within SAP. I'm going to do a quick search for the tables. I'm going to select all the tables and I'm just going to move that. So here I've got all uh, the tables listed. I can do some transforms and other things uh, along the way, but I'm just going to move this table. So I'm going to save the task and I'm going to run this process. So now I'm starting the replicate task and the first thing that it does is it looks at the source system, it creates the tables on the target, on the destination, and then it will start to move that, da uh, that data. Uh, it will do all of the mapping uh, as well between the source and targets and accommodate for any differences. So once we do that, you're going to move from the designer mode into the monitor mode, and we'll start to see the data flow. OK, now we switch from the designer mode to the monitor mode. And here we're seeing you know, that first step is the full load. So it's starting to move each one uh, of the tables from that SAP sales and distribution system. You can see the little icons here. The, the data is moving. Uh, it takes care of any uh, notifications or logs over here. But we're going to process uh, all the data in the full load. And then it will start to pick up the incremental change data capture. So this is all it takes to move data from one source, in this case SAP. Uh, and the SAP connectivity for us, it's, it's very deep. We provide connectivity both the application and the data level so that we can have a complete understanding of, uh, of the application, uh, the metadata, and uh, to be able to pick up the changes as they occur to those SAP applications so we can perform the change data capture. So this is what it looks like uh, from a replicate perspective moving data uh, into Snowflake. 